Hello YouTubers, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to make a Fallout 76 video. This is a follow-up on my lead videos, uh, but I'm not going to just talk about lead, but my main focus will still be lead. I am going to talk about other materials. Um, what I, my recommendation here will be is to set up your camp next to a mineral deposit uh, of your choice. Now, whether that be lead or anything, that's up to you. As you can see, I'll, I'll give you an overview of my camp in a little bit, but I have a lead harvester and a, um, a bunch of water pumps uh, harvesting water. So, so you can you can set up by a pretty lake, and I've certainly done that by a pond. In fact, I was at the pond by the golf course, it was really pretty. Or you can actually uh, make your camp more beneficial and productive if you set up next to a deposit. Now I'm here in the bog at the moment, uh, but there is a whole bunch of the mineral deposits spread out. But before we get into it, let, let's talk about what we do know. And I'm going to just cover the video a little bit, my previous videos. Um, so if you had watched some of my previous videos, there's two main lead deposits that I recommend you guys hit. The first one is the Charleston uh, Fire Department. There's a gym underneath uh, on the bottom floor i think with a whole bunch of dumbbells and a whole bunch of lead the problem is everybody farms us so a lot of you guys are complaining that you show up here and you can't find any lead because people are jumping worlds and they're trying to farm the stuff or people log in and the first place they go is this guy to get the lead and then it's gone for everyone else but anyway i'd still go yeah because i went i haven't been there for a long time but just because i don't visit this area very often anymore uh, but I was there the other day and, and I showed up and I found lead. So, uh, you know, definitely every two, three days go and check this place out. And, and if you need lead, uh, I don't really need a lot of lead. So, But if you need lead, uh, go check it out. Every two, three days, you might be lucky. Or if you're in the area, go check it out. The second area, the second one, which I actually do frequent more often, just because I'm in this area a little bit more often, is the motel at Green Country Lodge. There's a, there's a gym kind of at the corner. Uh, in the middle just next to the pool um and and again half the time ago there, there's no lead other half times ago there i find lead so so if you're in the area again make that one of your pit stops um there's also a couple of chem boxes there's a chem box right by the pool and there's one just in the stairwell so if you are there just make sure you hit those chem boxes as well and get uh, the stim packs for free now, the other, the other thing I want to show you is, obviously, uh, as you're probably aware, is there's a whole bunch of workshops. Poseidon Energy is one of them. Uh, in there, just kind of, to the, to, to, as you enter the front gate, if you turn right, just before kind of, there's, a, there's kind of like some fences, there's a, there's a mineral deposit. So you can either start up the workshop, um, and then you can put mine lead, as well as you can mine it at your camp. So you have double the amount of lead, one at a workshop and one at um, your camp. Um, or you can just show up at this place and just uh, steal the, the lead. So if you walk up to a deposit, and I'll try and show you that in a little bit as well. We'll see if we can find the one near my camp. There's actually two near my camp. You just go and grab the lead. Now, the other thing just to be aware of before I forget, if you are wearing the, uh, the, uh, the excavator, I think it's called the excavator power armor, it, you, you might actually be able to pull more lead out of the, the, the deposit than you normally would if you weren't. So just kind of keep that in mind. People say if you are taking minerals and you just happen to be in the excavate, excavator uh, power armor, I think I'm saying that wrong, but um, then you will be able to pull out double the amount of minerals. So if you are doing that, just make sure you're wearing that power armor. And if you haven't got that power armor, definitely go get it. It's right down here. Uh, definitely try and take a friend, uh, but go and make it. You need a whole bunch of black titanium. It's well worth having that power armor. It's just totally cool looking. Plus, it has actually a utility use for it. Okay. So, so you can either run the workshop and uh, rem remember the the side, especially if you're talking about the power plants. The powering up of the plant is a separate event than the workshop. They're two different things. They don't, they're unrelated. You can either run the workshop. Um, or you can power up the plant, you don't have to do both, you can do one or the other, they're unrelated, so if you are just looking to mine lead, you just need to kill a few Scorch, I think, and probably some other enemies, uh, I'd, I'd suggest this is probably not the best workshop to do, it's just a pain, because there's probably a lot more enemies there, right? 
The other workshop that I'm aware of is this guy here, which is Lakeside Cabins. It might be a popular spot, so it might be used, but again, very easy to set up. There's only a few enemies. Sometimes there's new super mutants, low level super mutants, ghouls. Uh, not very hard to take over, and then you can mine lead there as well. Now, there's another workshop. I don't actually have it listed on the map yet, um, but it's right over here, and I'll show you in a sec, and I'll talk about it. It's a campground. But if you actually look, if you actually hover above the icon, it says, um, it's kind of interesting, it says only food and water. But you can actually harvest uh, gold and lead as well. Now, it's, it's in the Maya, so it's probably not going to be taken over. Nobody cares about it. It has a whole bunch of high level enemies on it. So if you are high level, I wouldn't recommend you go here when you're low level. But if you're fairly high level, um, anywhere above 30 is probably fine. Uh, it, the Scorch Beast sometimes attacks it, uh, high level super mutants attack it, there's some of uh, those Gawi bears, or Yao Gawi bears, whatever. Probably the hardest enemy in my opinion is probably that one. Um, so, and then the other thing, I think it's bugged a little bit because, um, because it is, uh, sometimes you just can't find the animal enemies, it just won't let you start up the workshop. But I have started it up, and then you can actually mine lead if you want it, right? So, if you find lead in some of these kind of uh, art, uh, kind of far reach workshops, then nobody's going to really take them over. You could just mine them to your heart's content. Um, nobody's going to disturb you. That's one way. Um, so, you can do the workshop and the camp, or you can just do the camp, or you can just do the workshop. It's up to you. But there's a, there's a lot of lead. There's a lot of lead out there, right? So, let me show you what I've done here quickly. And then I have two links which I'll post in my description. One that shows you a map of all the minerals. We'll talk about it in a little bit. And then there is um, a list of the workshops. And I'll show you that in a sec as well. Okay, so as you can see, I just set up my camp here. Uh, for those that don't know, just build your base on a one by one. You can literally place it anywhere. I've never had a problem pla placing this. Uh, this camp anywhere because it's in on a one by one platform. If I've even tried it with a two by two, I had two foundations I had trouble placing it. But anyway, this is a very temporary uh, setup, and I can move it around a lot easier. I don't have any issues with that typically, right? So as you can see, the, the the farming of the water. You know, I can farm water at the same time as I can farm minerals. Now, sometimes just kind of be aware if you are. Um, farming stuff sometimes it takes a while to populate so if you kind of hover over the purifier and you see it empty like this sometimes it will will populate if you give it a little bit of time other times they kind of little bugs sometimes sometimes you have to store them and replace them for them to actually generate water same thing with your harvester sometimes you won't see it if you kind of go over it it'll populate like if I take this out now it might actually populate some more not all the time there you go. See, so straight away I get some additional lead just because sometimes it comes, it takes a little while to, to read it, type thing, right? So, uh, so again, this is one of the spots uh, where there is. Let me show you the map here quickly and then I'll jump back. Let me show you a couple, couple of things here quick. So, there was a guy on Reddit uh, that made this list of minerals. Um, let me get his name here quickly just to give him credit here. His name is uh, Floor Below on Reddit. Uh, he made this awesome map. I don't know how he made it. He's he's uh, truly a euro, but uh, you know whether he went and started on a grid and or just recorded every spot that he found a mineral. This is unbelievable. There's like so much here. Uh, but anyway, so he made a list of all the different uh, minerals that you can harvest in your camp. So. Uh, Literally, you can place your camp next to each one of these. Uh, you got aluminum, you got black titanium, coal, whatever. So, like I said, I was going to focus on lead here. So the lead one is in purple here, and as you can see, there are. Uh, you might not be able to see the colors, but I'll post the link and take a look at the map. Uh, there's lead everywhere. Uh, well, not everywhere, but uh, there's quite a few, a lot of places. Now, where I'm sitting at the moment is in the bog and down here. Oh, I was about to say, can I actually zoom in and zoom out? So I'm actually sitting at this lead deposit right here. Um, and I actually go back and I check the map. 
to make sure that I am uh, sure that the map is actually accurate and the few places that I've checked so far it's actually been dead spot accurate so it looks like there's another lead deposit and let me see if we can go find that quickly it looks like it's just by the sort of the railway uh, line there somewhere um, so this one is right in front of this building here which is actually a really cool building so if you haven't actually been here make sure you visit this place it's actually very cool it's like an a saint asylum um, it's kind of interesting inside, kind of eerie. It's probably one of the nicest places I've seen. Just kind of a lot of detail and stuff, right? Oh, I think I've zoomed too much there. So, let me see. Uh, I don't know what I've done there. I was messing around with Zoom. <laughs> okay, not responded. That's obviously why. Okay, so let's go back to the game here quick while that recovers. And let's see if we can go find that other deposit here quick. So it should be just over here somewhere. Uh, close to the railway, I guess. Now I just happened to run in on that deposit and then I checked the map to see if he knew about it and he did. So he definitely seems to have captured a lot of um, these deposits. And again, I don't know if he just went everywhere, had help or whatever. But it was a pretty amazing job, I think. Okay, so it should be yes yeah, somewhere, I guess, in this area. Sometimes you just have to look around a little bit just to see, you know, you might just be off a couple of feet or 100 feet. I can go back to the map here quick, see if it's recovered. <laughs> That's IE for you, right? It crashes. I was going to take another quick look, see if I could uh, see exactly where it was. Sometimes if you zoom in, you'll see there's sort of lines, there's like the kind of elevation lines. They'll just help you to find it a little bit better. I think I've gone too far, yeah, it seems to have gone too far. So it's kind of over here somewhere. Now normally you should be able to find them relatively easily. It's obviously like a, a dip in the ground. Uh, you know, the ground's going to be in caves. Um, let's see if I can get some elevation. Yeah, maybe we can see it from the top. We're probably pretty close to it. Uh, not very high up, I'm afraid, but... Ah, oh, let's see if it's recovered. So it doesn't look like scale. Let me try restart this browser and let's see if I can take a closer look at where it's at. I'm sure we're pretty close, like I said. Okay, so if we go back down here, it's right over there. I'm not sure if we can see, but it's literally directly straight from where the other one is. It's literally just straight there, right? Um, so it's kind of, 
kind of at the point. I guess we take our camp maybe a little bit further down. If I look at the camp here, might not be exactly accurate. It's probably closer to kind of over here, right? So let's go see if we can find this line. Maybe we can try to walk along that line there. Assuming we're on the line, yeah. Okay, let's go over a little bit further. Hopefully we'll run into it. Oh, here we go. So, as you can see, there's a lead deposit. So, he's pretty spot on if you look at the map. Um, give or take, right? Uh, but what I was going to show you is the same thing as Poseidon. So, if you don't want to run the workshop, just go to those workshops and go to steal the lead. Um, so, you can actually just go here and you can mine. And we've just got some free lead ore there. Um, it wouldn't, w won't be a lot, but it's something. So if you just happen to be in the area, you could um, you could mine some, some lead. Now, if you had a friend as well, you could probably both mine. In case, this case, you could have one camp here and one camp over there, and you both could be mining lead at the same time type thing, right? So, uh, so there you go. Uh, let me show you the workshops here quickly. Let me see if I can bring that up. I will also post that as a link here uh, for you guys. So there's a guy that, uh, there's someone that made a list of all the workshops, um, and, uh, you know, it's kind of a neat little document here, but it kind of shows you, you know, what, what each workshop does, plus he has a list of uh, what minerals you can actually farm from that workshop, so it's kind of a useful document to have anyway, uh, even if you weren't um, doing this. But if you look down here, the ones that I know you can mine lead are... A Poseidon as you can see he's got your lead so there you go it's got lead you can do lead at Poseidon now also remember the junk the ones that do the junk um, junk the junk uh, minerals are sometimes better than lead uh, deposits because they actually mine lead oil springs screws gears so you actually get a variety uh, you won't get it won't all be lead obviously if you need a lot of lead then obviously mine the lead deposit but if you don't need that much lead and you need other stuff as well, like gears, which I'm always out of, then you might want to just mine a junk junk landfill instead, right? So a, a junk deposit instead. But anyway, so we know Poseidon does it. Uh, uh, Wade doesn't do it. Lakeside Caverns we know does it. So again, there's a lead there. I uh, don't know how popular that one is. Uh, but I'll just try and find one that's kind of out of the way. Grafton also does it. Grafton does lead. It's a bit hard to take over Grafton. There's lots of high level super mutants, or there's just a lot of them. They like. Plus, the enemies that attack are these. Um, oh, I forget now. Uh, uh, they're quite high level enemies, but. Um, but if you want to do that, uh, set up the challenge. I think uh, the, this one's a very popular one for the ammo. Um, you know, they also do lead, but obviously they do ammo as well. So there's a lead deposit there. The ammunition there. Okay, none of that one. Spruce, no. So this one's an interesting one, the, the Dolly Sod, Sods Campground, because it lists it only as food and water. And it's actually interesting. If you actually look at the icon as well, it actually says food and water. But it also does lead and gold, so they've they've it must be a, a, they've overlooked that piece. But it's almost like a, a, a hidden lead uh, field. Now you might be able to just mine the lead. The lead I've actually mined it before, but the lead uh, deposit is actually quite away from the workshop. So you might actually just be able to set up your camp there if you don't mind the mire. It's too dreary and depressing for me, but um, if you don't want to be disturbed, that might be a place where you could actually mine. Berkeley, I think, does lead as well. Yeah, there's one lead at Berkeley, which is kind of, yeah, just on the side of the mire there. 
um, might be less depressing there. I don't know. So yeah, I would I would maybe choose one of the non-main workshops if you're going to main that. So so use your camp to mine the the lead as well as their uh, workshop. That way you get double the amount of lead. Or maybe maybe mine a junkyard with the workshop and then your camp with lead or vice versa mine junkyards with a workshop that way you get uh the problem with the junkyard workshops is they're quite popular because people want springs and screws so i'd suggest you mine a junk uh deposit with your camp nobody will disturb you and then use maybe one of the lead ones for the workshop right or it's up to you Anyway, so there's lots of there's lots of deposits out there, um, certainly, or, or different minerals. Certainly, um, you know there should be no lack of lead. Um, you know, a lot of people are just mining the Charleston fire station and they can't find lead. But there's actually a, a lot of lead uh, out there. Just uh, you know, look at this map, look at the link, go find one out of the way, uh, so you can probably find. Go visit all the ones with lead. And I bet you you'll find a very pretty area somewhere that you like to set up camp. And then you can mine uh, lead as well at the same time. Uh, you might even find one on a, on a cliff somewhere with a beautiful view. Where it allows you to set up camp, mine lead, plant some water pumps, get water at the same time and set up in a beautiful location. So... There you go. Hope you found that useful. Please, please hit the like button, uh, subscribe to the channel, and comment. It does help the channel, and I do appreciate it. So, um, uh, there you go. Please let me know if you have any questions.